in this video here um, I have a problem that how it is solved I will show here are four models that show the relationship between the height and diameter of a tree here we are given a data in a SPSS set this is schema walichi the species of the tree and this is dvh and this the height the name is nominal and other in a scale for the major i will write it d and height as h because i will uh, match with this our model so in this model we need uh, other four variable we already have h and d then ln h ln d d square and d cube should be find out for that go to transform compute variable and here ln underscore h here write natural log of h this is numeric type functional group automatic ln injured and this of question mark double edge okay minimize this output window so here we see in level natural log of edge and here in data view we see that so again for ln d instead of add so we can write d and that's fine now here double click on d and shoot okay and here we go next compute variable now we need d square so d2 i represented it by d2 in place of this square of d remove this numerical expression and double click on d into double click on d again and okay so minimize this here we see the d square value transform compute data and write it into three sorry I... okay this is not a square it's cube this time sorry again cube no okay yeah double click okay and okay minimize this here you see all we get the variables we need now we have four models and one by one we go through all this and we extract these values of parameters here beta 0 beta 1 and beta 2 represented by a b and c uh, only two parameters in first model now let's go for the first model i already have solved it here and this is the working table let's check it out where it's match and where do we get this data from okay so first model go to analyze regression linear here what is dependent lme adds in the first model and uh, what is independent variable then l and d no others only these two and it's statistic okay you can click on descriptive you get more information but you have to choose the one that required this is for the figure purpose visual 
information that whether that is normally distributed or not through histogram and normal probability plot check it check this out for a figure okay then you can we have we don't need to go to others options so okay yeah take time so it's now the main three tables we need basically I basically go through for exciting these data these data are here first check it out the significance of model yes it is significant and both the parameters in these are the parameters beta 0 and beta 1 these are significant okay so we need beta 0 beta 1 and beta 2 no beta 2 in this case in the first model so 1.7 9 4 yes it is now what is beta 1 0 0.351 okay no beta 2 show adjusted i square here you find this and the last one root of mean square error this is error residue this is 0 0.14 and root of it should be put here i haven't kept it here this is no need we only check it out this and this AIC I have to go through AIC how where we get AIC well so for that go to analyze generalized linear model here go to linear in response Dependent variable is LNAS for four models. Not to worry about these options. For the other models, oh, now covariant in factors. LND is covariant is continuous data, not categorical. So covariant only one and model only independent data of D, LND that's fine and the main thing we get is here so we have to check this more information yeah in this table AIC minus 302.444 okay now the smaller the adjusted i square the better the smaller the AIC value the beta okay now for the next regression linear for the next model we need other d as independent variable all the condition remains same so model all the outputs comes one after another you should not be confused you know, with this so this is the required data we need information this is 1.612 before that significant hold the parameter significant okay what is that one point sorry one point six one two 0.443 minus these are here I have already put it so you do that here they are adjusted R square adjusted value of R square this is get that here it is and that root of mean square here yes now AIC value okay for short to check it out okay analyze generalize yeah in this let's see similar yeah we have to add D and in model well as well we have to add D now all the condition remains same Okay, where is AIC? 
AIC value minus 308.708 Yeah, I have left the discussing about this figure so distribution you can see this, how smooth it is uh, little little yeah almost or oh, better this one out something yeah not uniform okay that's maybe best one or the other comparing all the other parameters other models right yeah around the main line mean this is around it and that that should be between 2 and minus 2 in 95 percent level of confidence and it's out of that it's not nice but compared to other that may be the nice one this is taking out of these normal graph that is not well scattered well normally distributed right here yeah, gaps not in a proper line uh, alignment this is also out of range between 2 and minus 2 okay this is how we have to check it that won't give actually uh, significant meaning and you can't distinguish uh, little differences but the IC value and adjusted R square will so we have calculated two of the model now comparing these two yeah first variable has little adjusted R square than model 2 so this seems better comparing two let's see in model 3 uh, for that you, you can minimize this or remaining on the same you can go to the equation linear and this time take this out instead of that take this in the remain the same okay now these are the table I have already said that this is significance this is significance where you get that data I have already mentioned these three are the parameters beta 0 1 and 2 I have covered these and first there and this is adjusted I square okay and this is the root the root of uh, this zero point one four I have already mentioned here you can check twice getting back on this video okay now yeah I see well the same process for the IC value instead of these we have to keep the inside covariant and input D to uh, the square as model and it's okay to click OK we already have mentioned that all if I haven't changed anything then it's same minus 305.389 that's fine now remain the fourth model fourth model remain little differ I will say that why it is now instead of D square we will input D cube uh, okay other condition remains same okay here we have graph as well visually you can distinguish if that's the difference is more than we can but it's hard if you don't have experience on it okay 
So we go through numbers. These are the line, main, mean line, and the data is scattered. Mean of the data, okay. This all that is out of range. That is not in between two and minus two. So what we need here is um, from this three table these parameters 1.73 yet give for that uh, significance okay this first parameter significance second parameter significant but the third parameter is not significant because it's scheduled in 0 five so this model can be neglected however we have inputted the input here that is here 1.73 at 373 and the uh, insignificant values yeah and adjust it what is that this 825 825 the IC value let's calculate the IC let's see it doesn't work but okay for practice purpose we do that uh, take this out I instead of that keep the three and the model goes like this and all the remains the same okay check this what is the IC value 303.762 okay that's fine this is dangled because this is insignificant parameter beta 2 okay so if the adjusted r square value of this is greater than 0.825 and even though then we will not go to this model because it's insignificant in parameters in this tattoo parameter so if this is not this is the second uh, this one is the second best model and the third one is this that one is neglected rejected okay if there are other more models then other will be the best one yeah among these four first model is found best thank you